What's up, everybody? This is King Jabs. Listen, I am about to present some information that you all are going to have to take the time to look at. You know, I know I'll do a lot of videos where you all just sit there and listen or you look at me, but um, this is the opportunity for you all to really open up your minds and stretch yourselves and think. Um, to all of my newcomers and new subscribers and patrons, thank you so much for being a part. Um, I always bring forth information that makes you think, that makes you expand your mind, that makes you just expand your your wherewithal and your knowledge to be able to think about certain things. I'm not here to cause any type of trouble. Trust me when I tell you this. Anything that I say, I just want to have something to make you think, to make you just, you know, scratch your head and say, hmm. You know, it's the things that make you go, hmm. Anyways, so the documentations and the information as it relates to my Kojic people, this stuff you're going to have to take your time and thoroughly look at. I have raised my questions. I am doing my interviews. I am going through this stuff because, again, these are documents. These are people that are being put into question. And when you put people in question, this is where William McRae comes into play. Because when William McRae is put into play, William McRae is the person that goes to find dirt or creates dirt to make to make these individuals shut up. This is the reason why he has been used in the church and in churches. And this is why this is why he has been extorting people to keep people like this quiet. You know, I, I hate to put this out here like this because, you know, I, this is ultimately my church. But... As it relates to the head, it only comes into accountability. Let me say that one more time. It only comes into accountability to where <clears throat> when preachers are being put into different positions and pastors are being put into different positions and they are not there for the benefit of of the church but only for financial gain that's questionable that is really really questionable because it should be about the sheep it really should it should be about the sheep and the shepherd should have the heart of the sheep or or really as i say all the time is this a matter of is this a matter of the shepherd leading the sheep to the slaughterhouse or the shepherd leading the sheep to the wolf because nowadays it seems as if the shepherds are mingling and communing with the predators the shepherds are mingling and communing with the the predators and the the predators that's going to be preying on the sheep or, or the shepherds are mingling with the wolves that's coming to prey on the sheep. Or are the shepherds really wolves in shepherds' clothing? You know, they used to say wolves in sheep's clothing, but are the shepherds really wolves in shepherds' clothing? So anyways, to all of you individuals, let me just first of all um, address this one. Uh, to a lot of you individuals who really don't care for me i really don't understand why you like to watch my stuff anyways that you know to me that's like an oxymoron or really like just really plain stupid and then you come on the videos just to say ignorant stuff you know that really don't make any sense oh he take too long oh da 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 da, da whatever and, you know if you don't like what's being said you know you have the option to stroll now, a lot of you all just don't like me because of past things, which are, you know what, whatever. I shouldn't even have to address that. Back to what, what is really at hand. So, these documents that I have just been reviewing, which you all are going to have to go on Patreon and look at because they are 
court documents, court documents that have been signed by judges that have been uh, filed in the courts, injunctions, all of those things and all of those matters uh, from Texas to Memphis to Virginia, all of those places to California, all of those places, uh, these documents have been in the court. And they are very questionable. And these are the things that come up in General Assembly. And when they come up in General Assembly, the, the, the crazy part about it is they come up and they're brushed under the rug. Or there are two or three people that make judgment calls on this and everybody moves on as if nothing has taken place. That's questionable. That's questionable. If a jurisdiction, if a jurisdiction has lost their bishop that they love so dearly and the jurisdiction as a whole wants a particular person in there. Check this out. The jurisdiction wants a particular person in there, but the board, the general board wants another. Then instead of listening to the consensus of the people, they pick who they want whether it's a financial move, whether it's a chess move, or whether it's just beneficial altogether to the just the head at large. And then once they do that, especially from reading these documents, monies have been taken and the jurisdiction is left broke. Now that's what I'm reading in the in these court documents. Um I just, I think it's sad because as I look at these documents, honestly, as I look at these documents, it further solidifies why the church is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, a lot of you all may not like what I'm saying because you say, and I get this a lot, Mario, why you say all this stuff about the church? Why? No, like, I am a college educated man. And when I go to college or when I do things secularly and I have a question about something, I have that right to say, hey, I got a question about this. Hey, something doesn't seem, uh doesn't seem right about this. Something is not lining up all the way. And when I question it, I get answers. Not I question it and I'm told to shut up or I'm made fun of in a general assembly or as a woman, I'm brushed off and told to stay in my place. It's, it's ignorant. It's asinine and it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, there are some men, and I say this with all solid mind, there are men that want women to stay in their place. There are men that want other men to stay subservient and subjected to them because of their position, because of their authority because of their power. And this honestly is not how this should be. I think I do believe we went from serving the Lord and trying to lead his people to running this like a slave quarters. You do as I say, not as I do. When I say worship, you stick your hands in the air. When I say pray, you fall on your knees. When I say jump, you say how high. Oh, well, let's go even further. Let's go even further. If I so happen to have sex with my secretary, you better turn your other, you better turn your head and look the other way. If I so happen 
to be caught having sex with another man. You better not say nothing. And you just better say, we're going to pray for our bishop or we're going to pray for our pastor. If I so happen to sleep with some woman and I'm the bishop or the pastor or the superintendent or whoever, and I happen to have a baby out of wedlock, you better not say nothing. You just better go somewhere and be quiet and tell the Lord, thank you. Because people will wish to have a man standing over them like me. That's the attitude of people. That's the attitude of some of these individuals. They say these things with no regard. They say these things and do not care. They say these things and and disregard the fact that you are the ones that pay their salaries. You are the ones that keep them riding in their nice cars, riding in their nice Bentleys. You are the ones that keep them in their nice three, four hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred dollar suits. You're the ones. Ain't that something? just to give you something to think about. I want you guys to have a great day. Have a great Sunday. Talk to you later. I want to say we won't. Ooh, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Come on now. I want to hear. Ooh, but that's not my job. <laughs> Come on. I want to pick you up over the Left you high. I wanna say, yeah, but I'm not gone. <laughs> I wanna say, come on, take it to church. But I'm not gone. <laughs> oh, I even wanted to heal you, <laughs> but I realized yeah. that is not my job. I won't say. Bye bye, come on! Yeah.